Hey everybody, I'm Modi Apparandas and welcome back to Loop Hero. I uh, was really loving this game. Took some time off of it, but really wanted to come back and do more of it because we've barely scratched the surface of the game. There's so much more that I want to unlock in this to find out where it all goes. So uh, yeah, we are picking up right where we left off. I haven't played anything outside of it and uh, let's get going. I think we're just going to set off the expedition. We've unlocked the gymnasium. That was last time, right? We have the village cards now. Let's take a look at our deck. So let's see what we got here. We got the village. We had that last time. We have this new chrono crystals. Crystals that are able to refract not only the light of the rising sun, but also the passage of dawn itself. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. So a double the effect of a day's passing. So on certain tiles, we would get like two HP at the start of each day, for instance. That would double the effect of that, it sounds like, but it sounds like this would need to be placed on a road. So I'm not too sure, but it also would be affecting anything else around here, maybe? Like the spiders spawning once a day, a Jason Tile would beat that. We're gonna put that in and see what happens. So that's 12 cards now. That's pretty good. Let's see what else we have. Anything else we wanna add in? Vampire Mansion. We've played with the vampires before. I don't really know any point to the vampires exactly at this point. Unless we know we can get a certain thing from them, I don't know if it's worth it. So you have the swamp spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here, except for the potions, which are still on your side. That's interesting, too. A mosquito, huh? Well, we'll see. What do these cards do here? So we have three. So that's something we have three. We have four of these cards. We have two of these cards. We have three of these cards. Okay, so it tells us what type of cards we've had added in. So we need more, like, resource cards like this. That might be pretty good. Anyways, we're at 12, which is perfect. Um, I think we're in the right in the range we want to be. Let's start a battle. We're still starting out with that no nothing here in our inventory. Let's pause there. It's been a little while since I played, so uh, we'll have to make sure we're, we're familiar with it again. Get everything equipped. The uh, armor, there we go. Okay, let's get battling. All right, good to be back. We got ourselves a battlefield. Spawn the chest at the start of each loop. I like to put it at the beginning of the loop. So we get it right away, but I don't want to put it where it's going to be like right here. That way it's guaranteed to not, I don't want it to be on top of the thing. I want it to be like right in front of it. So let's put it like right here. All right. That's those three tiles we have to worry about really. All right, we got ourselves a meadow and a rock. I might just wait for a moment on that. Just to see what else we get here. Another battlefield, okay. It's gonna make this first section a little hard, but we'll see what happens there. Maybe I can get a lantern on that to stop the enemies from spawning so much. All right, we got ourselves a regen ring per second. Okay. Regen with evasion, 6% evasion. That's, that's pretty decent. That's gonna stick with us for a bit, I think. All right, so we got ourselves a road lantern. I'm gonna put that right over here to try to reduce the effects of the Decreases the maximum number of monsters adjacent tiles. So that will uh, reduce the number of monsters that will spawn by the battlefield. Spawns adjacent chest and enemies adjacent tiles can become ghosts. So we're going to stop the, the enemies from spawning here as much is the idea here. We have the crystal shards. Doubles the effect of a tile in days passing. Okay, so let's put out a meadow here and see where we can put this. So it does only affect things on the road. Let's wait on that. Because I want to get a good spot for that. Get something to affect it with. Let's plan ahead this time around. How about that? Let's not just lay stuff down like crazy. Let's like, like actually make a plan here and carry it out. Everything we have is better right now. So we have a Grove spawns a Rat Wolf every two days. Oblivion erases established tiles. We'll hang on to that one for now. We have rocks. Okay, so let's get the let's get the rocks started. Get some HP building there. We got that Grove. Let's put it. Um, Let's put it here for now. Let's get that going. We have Oblivion. Erases established tiles and can erase monsters from the board. We'll hang on to that for now. And then we have the crystals. Let's hang on to that too. All right. Nothing's better than what we have right now. All right, we got our mountain. Put that there. All right, another mountain. Keep it together there. Boost up our HP some more. There's our first lap, and we got two treasures out there, which is great. Looking forward to those. All right, we got a treasure. That's what I was hoping for here. So let's put that down. 
Let's start putting some metals around that now. Boost those up. And uh, let's keep going. All right, we got our chest here. Crack that open. All right, so we have evasion 6% regen. This is just better damage to everything there. Uh, defense is 6 and magic damage is 3 there. Okay, good, good, good. Got another chest. All right, we got ourselves another ring. This one has vampirism. 5% attack speed. So attack speed up is kind of nice. 4% is not a huge improvement, though. The evasion of 6% is pretty decent. Um, I might hang on to this one for right now, but I'm kind of liking the current one with the evasion on it. I think it was last episode someone mentioned I was an underestimating evasion. I don't, I'm not underestimating evasion. I don't think. Trying not to, anyways. I mean, you evade 6% of your attacks. That means basically, if you evade 6% of your attacks, overall you're taking 6% less damage. And 6% less damage is very, very useful, right? That's what it would mean. I mean, nothing like even your armor boosting up isn't going to be necessarily 6% more. All right, we got some art. We have some mountains to lay down here. We'll get those down in a second. All right, some more meadows. Let's get those in. Oh, let's, let's pause it next time, actually. Let's pause it there. Okay. Defense four, not as good. Okay, let's fine. Let's lay these in. Try to get the mountains sealed up there like that. And then we have this. Uh, Chrono Crystal, still waiting on that one. All right, let's let it loose again. All right. There might be that certain cards only drop from certain types of enemies. That might be what it is. You know, I haven't like done much research on this game. I'm trying to stay as blank as possible. Blind as possible going into this, you know? So like, I'm, I'm fresh on it. I'm not like too spoiled on anything. I don't know how everything works. That's kind of how the wild play this one. Don't know what the meta is here, really. Uh, so we're just gonna put these groves. Let's let's line them up. Let's line them up because I think we can take care of the, use that blood grove to our advantage later on by having them next to each other. All right, break that down. We've got a lot of things to review now here. Actually, we have a dirk which just does a lot more damage. Gonna want that one and the six percent evasion on that too. Fantastic. Uh, this is not better. That's not better. I wish I could just trash stuff. I'm not gonna use. All right. So we got a monster and a chest. Okay, we got another weapon here. We got counter 7%, attack speed 8% up. I like that. Magic damage is two, and it does a little bit less damage though. This one has the regen and counter and attack speed up. 8% attack speed. So now we're starting to get to the point where I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe. That attack speed is super nice. Uh, I don't know. Let's wait on it. Let's wait on it. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to take off that evasion necessarily because we're evading often, you know. Well, some of the time, anyways. Okay, so now we have the blood grove. As I was saying, I wanted to put that there so we could affect all three of these, and that'll that'll affect any enemies that are in that. Um, we can lay that in there. It'll 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 draw them out if they get to a lower health. They'll just it'll just nuke them, which is nice. All right, let's do this. That gets us a lot of resources there. And then we'll put one more in there. That should make the big mountain here. And then we'll start getting harpies flying around. But that's okay. Cemetery spawns a skeleton every three days. All right. Do we want a skeleton? I think we might want skeletons. So let's put it over here. Let's see. Put it right there. Should we pull them close together? Let's put them both together. Let's try, to, let's try to group these into districts. So we have the, every hero for our treasure district, right? Try to keep that clear of enemies. Because they turn into ghosts in that region. Actually, let's affect all enemies on adjacent tiles when we become ghosts. So if we avoid enemy, putting enemies over by these chests here, we won't have the ghost -ish situation. Which will help out a little bit. We'll still have slimes and that kind of thing, which can become ghosts, but won't be as bad. Now, if I do chrono crystals... These are just per loop, right? On each loop, not per day. So it doesn't help that at all. I'm going to say maybe the crown crystal is not that, but it doesn't actually make an effect there. Okay, so we got some better shields now. Let's take a look here. We have defense 15. That's probably worth it. Let's put it on. 
Uh, max HP up to 187 now with that one here. Actually, this is even better probably. 286 with counter 11%. Awesome, nice. Vampirism, 16%. Oh, I don't know. Things are draining. Every single attack, we're draining 16% health. It's starting to get to the point where it might be nicer than having that evasion and regen. And the 0.6 per second isn't very much. We're going to save... We're going to hang on to these guys to nuke any kind of, like, goblin forts or anything like that to pop up. A defense 6 with the shield here versus 15. Okay, no good. Our treasures are back. Get some harpies flying in. What is this guy? Evasion 8% regen and attack speed up 2. Okay, now we've got a reason to go with. Alright, got that in there. Um, we have a... What is this guy? Is that a bat? I think it's a, a harpy. This is a ghost, I think. Not 100% sure on that, though. Nice. Lots of evasion there I'm seeing. And a counter. Nice evasions. Yeah, that kind of thing keeps you alive. And now we have the, the blood grove effect on all of these, which is nice. All right, so now we can lay the lantern over here. Reduce the spawns over there. Very, very good. All right, more mountain. Okay, so what I could try to do. Now, I, I didn't try this before. We lay, we take the center of this mountain out. Because we got the bonus from it. We try to lay it back in. I'm going to try it with Oblivion. See what happens here. So that makes it back out, right? Did our health go down at all? I didn't take a look first before we started. Let's put it back in. And get all that again, you know? And just keep doing that. Get those rocks built up there. Maybe. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We should definitely save a couple of those for, for emergency situations where we want to get rid of something that we don't want. Well, that was a big one. Another grove. Okay. So now I had to put another grove down, I think. Um, I'm no longer getting a benefit unless I put another blood grove on this side of the map here, maybe. Uh, we could put it over here. We could start building up over here, though, instead. We got meadow. We got rocks. Do I start another mountain someplace else, maybe? Let's start another mountain over here, just for the bonuses there. We don't do all of it, necessarily. Let's put those out for the bonuses, too. All right, keep it going. Oh, he's hitting hard. All right, what do we got here? This is a good one. Armor, a 394 with regen, and we lose the counter, but we get regen of one point per second, 1.2, and to get a vampirism of 8%. Let's put that on there, because it does have a lot more defense on top of that. Uh, evasion, 13% evasion now. See, that's the thing. Do we go with the... I think we stick with the, with the extra stats we have, because it is a rarer uh, quality. Yeah, I think we probably want to stick with the rarest, rarer quality there. Ooh, we got a new thing, though. This is evasion 7%, so a little bit less evasion, but the vampirism, attack speed still 4%, magic damage too. I think it's pretty much just a little bit worse evasion. Instead, of, we, we get vampirism instead of the regen per second. I think I'd rather take the regen per second. I don't know. So what is this guy? Gargoyle. That's what came out from the, the, the uh, area there. All right. Let's lay this in. Where do we put these now? Let's see. Should we put it like here? Reduce the spawns there maybe? Okay. Another cemetery putting in. Okay, there's a second blood grove. Now we can start boosting up the grove over there. Let's consider the cemetery maybe? Actually, I think the cemetery will affect the grove too. It can only be placed next to a Jason, but the, the, the roots destroy enemies that have less than 50%. I think it will apply to the, that one, that cemetery there. All right, got her. Got a beacon from her. 40% uh, movement speed within this range. 20% attack for all units. Does It, it says 20% attack for all units. Like, do I get 20% attack and so do they? Not kind of weird. I always thought that's kind of weird. Let's do this, though. The damage to all is so useless. I don't know. It's like, okay, great. I get damage to all of two. Great. 
example, they're going to be shutting some people down. Okay, here we go. Village. Cycles. 35 health upon healing. Let's do that, like, right here before we go into the area there, maybe. And then, um, we get a quest also. All right. Let's put the, start putting the rocks over here. Start building that up. Let's keep going. Nothing's good here, it looks like. This wasn't as good, right? Yeah, it was a little bit worse. But get the trades the vampirism for the regen. All right, we got a new quest. All right, here comes another gargoyle. I wonder if I could take this out once it's laid in there, the treasury, you know? Because the treasury isn't doing anything for me. It spawns a gargoyle every three days. Do I want a gargoyle every three days? I could just destroy it now. This one here spawns a harpy every two days. Again, do I want a harpy? That's the question. Let's fight one of these guys and see how we do. We got some decent loot from him. We got regen, 0. 0.6, defense, 5. That's not worth it. Not worth it. And this guy's got a... This is this one we have... This is the one we need to kill for the quest. Actually, they're not that tough. Might leave them. Quest done. And we get a damage 17 to 25 with defense and regen. So the 17 to 25 is probably worth it. Because that's, that's more damage than I'm doing at all right now with the pull arm here. Uh, we lose the attack speed and we lose the evasion now though. So that's no good. Got to try to replace that evasion somehow. All right. Let's, uh, let's consider the treasury here. If I do oblivion on this treasury, we won't get that gargoyle every three days. Um, we could destroy it and it's not going to affect anything. Um, you know, it's a possibility. Let's start building up another one over here. And then we could, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try taking this out. Get rid of that. There we go. We won't get that gargoyle now. Unless the gargoyles give us something really good, you know? Okay, 430. Better, better, uh, we lose the vampirism, we get 1.2 regen still, we get magic damage too. Actually, it's not, it's 30 more HP. Let's hold off on that, actually. What about this guy? This one gets us the regen and it's more defense, so that's a, that's a good trade-up. All right. I just love how much loot decisions you get to make in this game. You really gotta be making loot decisions constantly. Okay, there's our 6% evasion. Actually, it's a down. It's, we have 8% right now, but we get attack speed plus 12%. That attack speed up 12% is pretty decent. Uh, here we got 13 to 19. Oh boy, we get we get we get two percent less evasion, but we get that attack speed up, so the battles are gonna go much much quicker. Let's take that. And this one I said no to. Yeah, I wish I could just close things out. I'm not gonna take. We're still evading pretty regularly here. Sorry though, apparently. Another village. Let's lay that in there right away. Get the bonuses in that right away. Like right ahead of me, wherever it's gonna be. Alright, let's lay it right in here then. Alright, we got a abandoned camp over here. Spawns an abandoned adjacent tile every two days. Alright, let's put up Max. Let's put this guy over here then. Still haven't figured a good use for these chrono crystals yet. Unless it's designed to kind of speed things along a little bit. Alright. Should we try putting it there and see what happens? I don't know if we why we would want that, you know? Oh, I see. We get a bonus from that one now? No, it should give us a bonus for that one now. A blooming meadow. What does a blooming meadow do for us? <laughs> oh, I gotta get this village down. I did say one. Oh, I did, I did that one village already. We have lots of quests ahead of us now. <laughs> We're in pretty good shape here. Uh, regen and defense is 16, but regen is 2.4 now. So almost a 6.6 .6 more regen per second. And uh, two less defense, though. Let's hold off. 
And vampirism nine percent versus eight percent. We get the we lose the regen point one one point two. But we get almost almost a hundred HP. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Another quest. Kill that bandit there in the next town. All right, nice. He's not that bad. He's evading quite a bit though. Oh, he's evading a lot. And these, these battles take it a long time. That's the thing, the battles, they still take up time. You know, every single time we have a battle, we're, we're wasting time and things are spawning around us. Time's our currency here, you know? All right, let's pause it real quick. Okay, we got vampirism, defense is three only. No, less damage overall, no. And here's same thing. Okay, let's hold on. Let's keep going. We're taking six with getting back two. That's not too bad. 529, we lose the vampirism. Okay, here we got damage 20 to 30. Still, I'm gonna, st I'm gonna hold off on it. They're doing some serious damage. These guys are not doing so much damage, actually. Alright, we got another thing here. Defense is 10. No. Defense is 6. Boring, boring, boring. Nobody wants that. Alright, we got more rocks to lay down. We could lay more rocks, and we're gonna, if we do too many, we're going to end up with that uh, another harpy place here, and we're going to get another harpy every couple days. What if I do this? Fill that in? Doesn't matter. Okay. I should have put it over by the treasury. So we're getting a lot more bandits over there now. That's gonna be pretty bad, because they have, they, have, they have a lot of evasion. They don't do a lot of damage at all. 532 attack speed, damage to all, 8% attack speed, 8% up. Hmm. They'll take our attack speed to 20% then. And we get five damage to all. We lose the 9% vampirism, which is all we really have right now. I think we're gonna do it. For the more health, and for the extra attack speed. Speed things along this time around. What's this guy? Evasion 7%. Now it's starting to be worth it to stick with this though. We're losing the attack speed, we're getting that evasion to 7%. We'll be up to we'll be up to 13% evasion again. Now we're talking. Alright. If I can get to like 20%, I'll be in good shape. Every fifth attack being dodged. There we go. 12% evasion right there. That's what we're talking about. We lose the 12% attack speed though. Ooh, that's a tough call. Max HP, pass. 15 to 23, damage to all four, pass. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking. Like, if 12% evasion, it gets us to, gets us to, gosh, that would get us, to, oh, it only, we, we get six more percent. So we get up to 19% then. 19% evasion, we lose the attack speed, the 12% bonus though. Let's hold off and see, maybe we can get another way. Oh, there's a lot of monsters over here. Oh boy. <laughs> Didn't need that evasion though. We're already still dodging pretty frequently though. All right. Let's see here now. Still debating that one. It was this guy? Yeah, the 12% evasion. Oh, I don't know. Let's put another blood grove here. I don't think they, they stack. Yeah, they don't stack. It shouldn't. I shouldn't line them up like that. I should spread them out more. Less HP at two. Okay, let's hold off on it. Let's not do it. Let's stick with our 13% evasion. Maybe there's a better thing coming along. There's always something more coming along. All right. We might be getting too many enemies. We have a, I don't I wish I could see what the enemies here are. We have a skill here, forgot about that. Choose a trait, second thoughts, get a set of th new set of three traits. Dominant mass, damage is increased by 20% of defense value. What's our defense value? So damage is increased, our damage is 21 to 31, 20% 20 of our defense value, so 20% of 20, 
is uh, like five, four points of damage more. Every counterattack restores 1.5 loot times loop HP. That that is kind of cool. Do we have a counterattack right now though? Let's take it and let's get a counterattack. That might be cool. Oh, look at this guy, Lich Golem. Oh boy, he might be a problem. If I can block, I can, if I can dodge his attacks, we'll be okay. He does a lot of damage. Oh my god. Hopefully we're taking him out first. He might drop something good at least. Where did he come from? That's where I don't know. We might be in trouble here. Quest done. We might be in trouble here. Okay. We might have to be... Oh, we have to, we're going to pause it there quick. I'm going to get some things on the ground there. Oh, well. We might be done. Oh, this is a tough loop. I want to pause here. Okay, finally. Okay. Let's add in some HP. It's worth it, even though we make the mountain here. I think it's worth it. Oh, we didn't make the mountain. Good, 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 good. Um, let's keep adding the rocks then, quick. Good, okay. Um, let's add the, oh, there's so many guys here. We're done, we are so done. Let's add those meadows in, get the bonuses from those. I don't think we're getting out of here alive. All right, I could try to destroy enemies here. There we go. Let's get rid of those guys. I destroyed this whole city. I just took a city off the map. I love that. Okay. That got rid of... I should have gotten rid of their village, but, I mean, that's going to that's gonna save us. I mean, you have to get that far, though, first. And I think it's pretty unlikely we're going to get that far. Um, this might be our last loop, to be honest. I don't think we're going to make it another one here. Let's just keep going the best we can. All right. I don't think we're going to make it. Counter 7%, vampirism 12%. We do need the health now. The evasion is going to keep us alive, though. Ooh, that's a tough call. We do get the bonuses for the... Oh, wait. Let's see. We're looking at the wrong thing here. We got... So we're looking at 7% evasion. We're giving her the evasion. We're getting the counter and the vampirism. Getting 12% back of our damage. Our damage is like 31. So we're getting three points back. You know, if we had a max attack, let's say, probably like two to three points back. And a counter of 1.5 times our loop health, though. That's what our trade is, right? We get one... Every counter attack restores 1.5 times loop HP. We're gonna do it. We gotta get, we gotta get something going here. Eight max HP goes down. Oh, that's bad, though. That's bad. We can't, we can't lose that much HP, can we? Yeah, we can't lose that much HP. We gotta hope that our evasion holds out. Defense goes to five with this one. We have defense five already. More damage, though. Uh, we need that regen back, too. I can't survive without it. These guys won't do much to me. Oh, they will do much to me. Holy cow. Never mind. He hits pretty hard. We might be done. We need a dodge to attack here. We need a dodge. We need some dodges. Okay. Uh, regen is three per second. That might be okay. That's better than we have and more defense than we have. Here it's 12% attack speed. No, we're getting that regen per second now. And then we have 32. That's the same one we just saw. I don't know what I, could, I, don't know what I could put out here. It's going to save us. Nothing at this point. I think we might be done. Oh, we might be done. And we're out of, we're out of, uh, we're out of heals. So there's nothing, nothing coming for us here. Let's take a look here quick and see. Defense is increased by one after every loop. Uh, if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Let's do it. Because it's already below 30%. I don't think it's going back. Okay. This might be it. This is our first time we've lost. We're going to die. We're going to die. We've got like one hit left in us. That's it. Next hit. Next hit. Oh, man. You've died in battle. You keep 30% of your resources. That sucks. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retreat, obviously. Can't do anything about it. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. 
That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some managed to, some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left our ca the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Interesting. Okay, can we build anything new with that run? Not enough to build anything new, it looks like. We're still missing a lot of resources here. We got to do better. We got to do better next time. Next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll be back for another run of Loop Hero. Hopefully, uh, we'll do better on the next run. Get some uh, better loot, better strategy, maybe. And uh, we'll tackle it again. I'm looking forward to playing more of this. So, hope you guys are looking forward to sticking with it. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you then.